gentlemen, I'd like to introduce from Canada, television newscaster and best-selling author, Edward Zawadzki. Thank you, everybody. It's a pleasure. I had a prepared statement here. I thought it was going to be a podium, but I'm going to be winging it a little bit. First of all, to answer Ms. Belinda's question, my 95, my 94-year-old mother's over there putting a big dent in the Polish beer supply. I think she's on her third right now. But I want to begin by thanking all of you for having me come out. It's such a pleasure and a privilege to be here in Parma and all over Cleveland. I've been here several times. Father Orchuk, you are a treasure. Uh, I wrote a book called The Poles in the New World, the first book about Poles. Actually, Rita Crosby from NBC and myself were the first Poles to have a book about Polish people for national bestseller. And uh, my book is Poles in the New World. It's in the back there. I'm there doing a book signing today. But you know what? It's a very important hall to the May 3rd Constitution. The Polish Constitution was the second Constitution in the world. It came two years after the American one that it was modeled on. And it was enacted and passed to redress defects in Polish law where they treated the Szlachta with a disproportionate right in the country and they formed and they formed this constitution based on your constitution in the US. You know when I think of all the Polish heroes that we share, that the United States and, and Poland shares, the Revolutionary War heroes General Kostuszko and Pulaski, General Krzyzanowski in the Civil War, Admiral Rickover, Major General Edward Rovney, who is Douglas MacArthur's Chief of Staff. These were all great Poles. You know, the honored dust of Poland and America lay in corners all over the world because we share the fundamental right of freedom and justice. And we paid the ultimate price so many times. Both Americans, both Poles. It is such an important holiday, and it is such a privilege to be here. Should be Polska, nigdy nie and God bless America. Thank you.